owners. Welcome to another edition of Sticks and Stones. I am your host, Brent Elrod, coming to you from the cozy confines here on the patio at the No Shoes Bar and Grill, deep in the heart of the Republic of Texas. I have a great show lined up for you today. I am pairing an Ave Maria Argentum with Sagamore Rye Barrel Select. I think you are going to really enjoy this pairing. So right after this, we are going to pop the cork, cut the stick, and get to toasting. Now, Ave Maria is an A.J. Fernandez line. The Argentum, well, it looks kind of short and squat, but you know, some things do come in, some great things do come in small packages. Uh, it looks like it's just a really dark spark plug, but it has an absolutely beautiful band. For those of you that are uh, on the live stream here on Instagram, you can see it. Uh, the, the wrapper is a Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro. We don't really know much about the binder, but the filler is uh, Nicaraguan and Honduran. Now this is the Robusto. It is 4.8 inches by 58, sorry, 52 on the ring gauge. And it is a medium to full bodied cigar that is extremely dark, has minimal veining, uh, tight yet very visible seams. Uh, it, it's really kind of the uh, the feeling of uh, the old paper sacks, the old grocery bags, or like a really really fine sandpaper. Uh, and it does have a very large, beautiful cap. Now on the nose, I get uh, dark cocoa, spice. I get, uh, I get some cedar. I do get some nice uh, mocha notes, uh, a little bit of fruit, and a nice uh, mixture of caramel and vanilla. Let's give it a cut. I am cutting it with my Cigarism V cutter. Go see my friends over at Cigarism if you need any kind of cigar accessories. Uh, cutters, lighters, travel humidors, humidors, pretty much anything the cigar smoker would want, and also a lot of good pipe uh, to, uh, accessories as well. Now on the cold draw, I get some, some really nice licorice notes in the beginning. There is um, some hints of like pepper flakes and some coffee and chocolate. And just a little bit of cedar. And it's also kind of, uh, kind of blended with the cedar is kind of like the, uh, if you go into like a really, really old building or church that has extremely old woodwork in it, that, that kind of aged wood smell uh, you're kind of getting that on the cold draw. Now, the uh, Sagamore Rye Barrel Select. I had actually never tried uh, Sagamore until this year when I got invited to go to a tasting at the Dallas Cowboys Star Center. Shout out to my buddy Mike for hooking me up with that, where we got to meet with one of the owners and try uh, a bunch of the different uh, uh, products in the Sagamore line, and I really enjoyed it. You know, rye is making a comeback. Now, the Barrel Select, uh, this is made in Indiana and Maryland. The distillery, or the, the headquarters, is in Maryland. Go ahead and glass a little bit up here. Hang on. There we go. I got the pop in there. All right. Uh, this is 55% uh, alcohol by volume. So that's 110 proof. It's got a nice little kick to it. Hmm. The, uh, the mash bill is a blend that averages about 73% rye, with the remainder being in uh, corn and malted barley. And it's aged for seven years in virgin American white oak. We all love virgin, right? Let's move on. Uh, visually, 
Those of you that are uh, watching the live stream on Instagram, you can see that this is a beautiful, beautiful, deep reddish copper color. Uh, it's probably one of the darkest spirits I think I have seen as far as uh, bourbons, whiskeys, rye, you know, that kind of, in, the things in the whiskey lines. Uh, it is just a beautiful, dark, reddish copper. Now on the nose, on the nose I get uh, like dried cherries and then kind of just a, a, maybe a mix of other berries like some strawberries, blackberries, raspberry kind of things. I get uh, some really nice hints of maple syrup. There's, there's also a little bit of uh, like cinnamon in there and that is kind of on top of the rye grain uh, kind of spice that you get uh, on the, uh, as the base now on the palate. I tell you, take a sip of it. You don't really realize it's 110 proof. Uh, that is an extremely, extremely smooth sip. Now, after you've swallowed it, you do get a little bit of burn on the outside of your tongues, and you also get just a little bit of tingling on your lip. I think if you drank enough of it, it'd turn your lips numb. But let's get back to the review. On the palate, I get, uh, I get like honey and licorice, maybe some, some herbs like uh, fennel and dill. Uh, there's a, a kind of a minty peppermint uh, kind of note to it. And, and overall, it is just a really uh, kind of an explosion of sweet and herbal rye flavors. You know, rye is a, typically a spicier spirit, and you do get quite a bit of spice on it. But it does uh, meld a lot of these, these other kind of things in there. And I think also... I also get kind of a, a hint of uh, like uh, orange peel, dried citrus peel kind of thing. Uh, this is just, I mean, it is an excellent spirit, excellent spirit. And it has some really great legs on it. Let's go ahead and fire up our stick and see how these go together. I am using my normal Rocky Patel Envoy 5 torch. A 5 torch does a wonderful job. You just don't want to get too close. You'll, you'll burn it up. On the palate for the stick, I get uh, some nice, really rich, dark chocolate, a little bit of coffee. Some leather and cedar and, and a nice little spice in it, not too much, just a, a really nice mellow spice to it. Try these together. Those those really are going pretty well together right here in you know the, the first half. Um, you get uh, the the spices. Kind of blend together. You got a little, you know, kind of a light spice on the stick, and the the herbal spice. I mean, the uh, rye spice on the uh, on the spirit. Kind of pulling it together. You have uh, the chocolate and the coffee. 
uh, kind of working its way through there. Um, these are, I mean, this is a really good pairing. Uh, I, I love the Argentum, and I have really liked the uh, Sagamore Rye since uh, trying it a little earlier this year. i tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and burn this down to the halfway mark, and I will come back and give you an update. Hey, stoners, I am back. Uh, here at the half, these two are going very well together. Uh, you know, rye is a spicy spirit, and uh, this Sagamore has plenty of spice with it, but it's tempered with some notes of honey and peppermint and citrus, and the, uh, the Argentum is a wonderful smoke that brings in its own spice, kind of with some, you know, some red pepper flakes and maybe some licorice. Uh, and they are, you know, then you've also got uh, some, you know, chocolate and coffee and leather. Uh, I, I think that these are really going pretty well together. Uh, I mean, I'm just, I, I can't really think of any detraction at this point from either one. As I take another couple of puffs here. The, uh, the Argentum, uh, like I mentioned, I think it's kind of brought in some licorice here towards the half. Uh, I also think there might be a little bit of maybe some bread, no, bread dough and some kind of some nuttiness. Uh, and I'm just, I'm very happy with the way these are going together. I'm going to go ahead and burn this stick down to the uh, band, and then I will come back and give you my final thoughts. Hey, stoners. I am back, and I just have to say that, that this, this pairing was uh, a wonderful experience. Uh, I really love the Ave Maria Argentum. It is an excellent stick. Uh, the Sagamore Rye is this barrel select, even at 110 proof. It is a great, great spirit. Um, you know, I mean, you can't get you, you can't get too carried away with it. But pour a little in a Glencairn and just sit back and just sip on it. It is an excellent spirit. There, there was a, a few kind of new things uh, brought in uh, as we got into the last half. Uh, uh, the stick was stayed just rock solid, uh, but it brought in some uh, like some roasted peanuts, maybe a little bit of uh, creamy caramel and some minerals. The uh, the Sagamore had uh, this wonderful conglomeration of honey and licorice and peppermint and citrus peel and that really great rye spice. I was, I was just very impressed with the way this went together. Uh, I would give the, uh, I'd give the stick uh, a 90 matchsticks out of 100, and I would give the Sagamore Rye a 92 Whiskey Stones. I mean, I, I think you should definitely try these two, uh, not only together, but individually. Uh, I think you'd really enjoy the stick and I think you'd really just enjoy sitting down and, and having a, a little dram of uh, Sagamore. They are really wonderful products. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this pairing as much as I've enjoyed it bringing, to, bringing it to you. Uh, definitely should uh, hit like, subscribe, share, notify, especially the share. Share the stuff out of it. Share it like crazy. Share it everywhere. I'm on all of the different platforms, Pandora, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, Google, Google Podcasts, Spotify. My hosting takes place on Podbean. Uh, I'm pretty much everywhere, um, mostly on Instagram, but I also have uh, Facebook and uh, Getter and Truth Social, and, you know, I, I try to hit them all. Um, <clears throat> you will also find that there is a separate not only Sticks and Stones Facebook page, but also a Sticks and Stones store page that's on Facebook. And uh, then you can also find us now on Amazon. We not only have Sticks and Stones gear, but we have 
cigar and pipe accessories uh, that are, are linked to, from Cigarism and, and other, other stores. Uh, and I also have things on there that I just think people might be interested in, in knowing about, like the type of equipment that I use for the podcast. Uh, you know, I've, been, I've been kind of on a health kick here lately. Stuff I use at the gym, health and wellness stuff, a little bit of everything. I'm, I'm kind of hopefully turning into a really good influencer, and I can influence some people. So uh, be sure to go check all of that out on, uh, on Amazon. You can find links for everything in our bio, but until we get to be together again, keep your sticks dry, your stones cold, and have a great day.